hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again and i thank you for tuning in in this video i'll be showing you guys simple ways to style your wig using no glue and no gel and then the wig i will be using is from cilia hair which all the details will be in the description box below you can see everything that came with the wig it also came with a bonnet love this color and uh, a pamphlet how to care for the wig and all their social media it also came with extra hair bundle because i requested for extra hair bundles i was thinking i will need something more volume but you will see the real density that, uh, that the wig came with like i was actually satisfied with the real density and that the wig i will be using is their 13 by 6 lace frontal 26 inches body wave. Yes. What I will do now is just to go ahead and show you guys the wig as usual. Like if you are to order what to expect and all. You can see how the wig came. You can see the 13 by 6 lace frontal. 13 by 6 lace frontal is the part. Yes, you'll be able to, like if you are to do maybe center part, side part, the part will be wider because the lace, the front of the lace, the part is a little bit wider mm, because it's 13 by 6, ear to ear. And then you can see the inside of the wig is machine made wig and it's stretched, which is very nice. Came with adjustable straps, the wig, and it also came with combs. Two at the side, one at the front, and then one at the back. Yes. If you are a person that a little bit spectacular about your wig not falling off, just use combs to secure your wigs. And you can also see the front of the wig. What I will do now will not be pre plucking the wig. I will just spray in a little bit of water and cut off the excess lace gently, which I usually advise you guys to be very careful when cutting off excess lace to avoid putting hole on the lace. And then... Um, I also cut off the small excess lace at the back as so you can see how the wig looks now. I'll go ahead and uh, sew in elastic band. Elastic band is to secure the wig so that the wig will stay perfectly on my head. Like I said earlier on, I said I will not be using glue. I will not be using gel. Sewing in the, uh, this elastic band is going to help a lot for the front to lay better. Yes. I am done sewing in the elastic band, which I have a lot of videos of this. Just check some of my videos out. What I will do now is just to go ahead and place the wig on my head. I dab in a little bit of my makeup on the lace. Yes, to just avoid, uh, to just uh, um, have that natural looking scalp. And I also put on a wig cap as well. First, before placing the wig on my head. You can see how it looks now. Oh, him already and what i will do now is just to go ahead and dab in my makeup at the front of the wig which you guys can see i would have preferred to use powder but i was looking for my powder that day nowhere to be found <laughs> and i decided to use foundation and then the foundation i'm using is like my color my color tone make sure if you are to dab in your makeup make sure is your color tone yes your real color the one that match your skin tone and uh, if you use that it will it will lay the lace perfectly but if you are to dab in uh, um, makeup that is lighter you will not be able to achieve the natural looking scalp you are looking for and i will just go ahead and dab it in and try it as well when i'm dapping in try to also massage so that it will stay better but i will not be applying much just a little bit uh -huh. you can see how it looks now already yes yes you can see the volume of the wig oh i was actually very very satisfied with the density of the wig because i needed not to add that extra bundle which i requested because my mind was just like the wig will be empty but i received it and i was kind of like surprised of the density i think the density is something 200 percent or so all the details will be in the description box what i will do now just to go ahead and uh, do this this is just the sugar sugar <laughs> 
<laughs> and everybody usually asks Rita, I like your side part. And whenever I style my wig like this, side part like this, and I just uh, put a little bit of hair at the uh, back of my ear, a lot of people usually love it. And this is the reason why I'm doing this style. I'll go ahead and use edge um, flyaway layers. Oh, yeah. Flyaway layers, you need this in your life. And a hot comb. It does a lot of wigs. It does a lot of wig. If you want your wig to slay better, just grab flyaway layers and then um, also use them um, hot comb. And also go ahead and get hot comb, which I also have a hot comb on Freedom Stars website. So if you are interested, then use it to slay your wig at the front and you will thank me later. I will go ahead and just use the fly away layers smooth it a little bit so that it will it will be flat at the front like this and use the hot comb to flatten it to flatten it like this and you can see how it's already looking i need not to apply gel no glue nothing like i am the last person that will use glue on my hair i don't glue down my wigs i do not glue down my wigs i wear glueless wigs yes I love my edges so much and um, I am kind of a person, I don't like anything to disturb my front at all. Like, if I put on wig, if I am tired, I just want to remove it and drop it. Yes, I don't want to be applying this, applying this to remove glue, no. <laughs> what I will do now is just to go ahead to achieve natural parts. I will go ahead and apply a little bit of the foundation on the lace like this, on the parts of the lace like this you can see how it looks this is how it looks and you can also see the natural texture of the body wave i was kind of loving it as well you see the volume i needed not to do much and this that is very very simple like it was achieved just within three minutes yes like very simple you see the back as well you see the back because I have no time to sit for hour, two hour, one hour applying glue. No, glueless wigs, you put them on, you are ready to go. Especially with that elastic band, which I advised earlier on, it does a lot to wigs as well because it will make it will it will tighten up the wig at the back as well. What I will do now, you guys know, Freedom Styles must put a little bit of coarse on the wig. I'll go ahead and coil it a little bit, yes, just to give it a little bit of beautifulness course. <laughs> you guys can see I will coil it a little bit, not much, because I was not able to see the back. Anytime I want to coil my wigs, if I want the coils to be popping, I usually just coil it first in a mannequin before I put it on. Yes, coiling a wig directly from my head usually do not abide with it but in this video i needed to just do this just to give it a little bit of course even if i am not to coil it like real popping coils but just to give it a little bit of course so that you guys will see if you coil this wig how it will looks yes can you see how it looks already yes i can't leave the coils like that i decided to just like um Losing up the coils a little bit. I usually see people, they will just coil hair and leave it like that. My mind is just like, okay, I always like to loosen up my coils because that is how you will get the the volume and the, the coils will be showing more like, like that. And you see how it looks already? Very, very beautiful wig. And then this 26 inches is so gorgeous. Like long wigs if you call coil long wigs they are kind of very beautiful yes very very beautiful to so just I'll, uh, let the side style stay better i use a bobby pin to secure the hair at the back see how it looks very beautiful and um mm, you will not miss this wig do not miss this wig this 13 by 6 lace frontal wig yes from cilia hair body wave which all the details will be in the description box this wig is from cilia hair all the details will be in the description box this is their 26 inches body wave 13 by 6 lace frontal wig ear to ear 
you also see the back see the back i told you guys earlier on that i did focus on the back much it was just the front to just give you a little bit of course you had the back looks don't forget that all the details of this wig will be in the description box everything i showed in this video will be in the description box don't also forget this is 26 inches yes if you enjoy this kind of no glue video give a huge thumbs up to this video and i will also try as much as possible to be uploading more videos frequently and then uh, i enjoyed filming this video and i hope you also enjoyed watching it give it you thumbs up if you do thank you so much for watching and uh, bye